Okay, so I want to show you how to handle you know, fighting frequencies in your song and how to clean your mix up so that each instrument kind of cuts through and sounds clean in your mix. Let me go through some of my song here, and you may notice that the parts that have EQ, like right here, got a lot of different things cut out, cut out and then I've got certain frequencies that are enhanced to make room for other frequencies. I use a lot of high pass filters on parts that are not using bass frequencies so that the bass sounds much more um, clean and punchy. And I also try to remove some of the high frequencies so that the hi-hats sound very clean. There you go. It's another part that I've used a high pass filter. And I can go ahead and solo these and kind of show you. Sorry, I didn't name them. I was a little bit lazy. But what I've done here is you'll notice these two parts, they're basically the same part that I'm panning left and right. And what I've done is I've put a dip in the frequency at 3.34 kilohertz on both of these. That was done so that I could leave room for this guitar part that I just kind of want this thin guitar part to cut through the mix. So if I show you before and after these parts, you'll notice a drastic difference. But what's important here is that you figure out the frequencies that you really want to shine through the mix, and then kind of get rid of the ones that don't matter all that much. For example, this one here, I got rid of a lot of the sound of the strumming guitar because I have another guitar that's doing a riff with delay that kind of takes over that part. You don't want those fighting. So this part here, without the EQ, sounds kind of like this. And then with the EQ, it now sounds like this. So it's much thinner, but on its own, I'm sure you would think that it sounds less good than it did with the EQ off. But within the mix, that's the signal that I actually want to cut through, and it makes room for the other guitars. The other guitars here have a, a high pass filter, so it's cutting out below, I believe, 120 ish, yeah, 123 hertz. And then I put a dip at the same frequency that the other guitar part had the volume increased. And that kind of just leaves room so that it'll cut through. And that sounds like this. And I'll go ahead and turn this off, and you're not going to hear a whole lot of difference. Now when I play them together, they're going to sound uh, like they've got their own space. And that's just a small frequency band within a whole song. So within the whole song, it sounds like this. Now, this song's not completely EQ'd, so it's certainly not perfect, but everything seems to stand fairly well in the mix at this point. Now, when I'm confused about an EQ, for example, let's go back to these guitars. What I'll do is I'll 
turn on the spectrum analyzer. And then I'll go ahead and take a look at the frequencies here. So what you're going to be looking for here is that you'll notice up in the high frequencies that you got some action going on with this part. Of course, you've got it taking up a lot of other frequencies too. So that's why I decide to cut those frequencies out. So let me go ahead and turn off this EQ so you can actually see how it was beforehand. As you see, it takes up a much smaller frequency band. But I found that up in the higher frequency, there was a certain frequency that seemed to cut through the mix. So that's the one that I chose, and that's the same one that I chose to reduce in the other guitars to leave room for that one. So I hope that gives you a small idea of you know, how to work with fighting frequencies. You basically Try to find a frequency that cuts through on one part and a frequency that you can bring down on another part without ruining either one. Now another thing that you may want to use a spectrum analyzer for that I recommend is you know, to take a look at certain parts that you wouldn't even think have low frequencies in it. Like for example, I have a high pass filter on this hi-hat and oftentimes with your ears you wouldn't even notice that that's necessary. But if you come here, you notice that there's low frequency action happening here. And even though it's not a whole lot, if you got 20 tracks that are kind of delivering this kind of mud, it's going to make the lows in your song uh, not really cut through as well as you'd like them to. So just by simply putting on a high pass filter, that cleans that all up. And now we're, we're just getting the high frequencies. So go through your tracks and um, you know EQ out the lows if they're not necessary, the extreme highs if they're not necessary in order to make room for hi-hats and things like that. And if you've got fighting frequencies, figure out what frequency you can uh, bring down on one instrument to maybe pop another instrument out in the mix of a little bit better. Although this video might not answer all your questions, I hope it answers some questions about using spectrum analyzers and a little bit about how to deal with uh, EQs fighting.